The history of Euler's constant, E. What is E? E is the mysterious irrational number that pops up in physics, compound interest, probability theory, and many other branches of science and everyday life. This numerical constant can be approximated into 2.718281828846 going on forever and ever. The decimals would never stop and go on for infinity. Therefore, this is an irrational number like the constant pi. So who discovered it? What is its history? In this video, let's find out. In 1614 in Scotland, John Napier, a landowner and mathematician, hmm. and William Otterd worked hard at hmm. making a book on logarithms to help hmm. calculate large numbers more efficiently. The book was known as, Mirifici Logarithmorum Canonis Descriptio, meaning the description of the wonderful canon of logarithms. The first known reference to the constant E was recorded in this book. Fast forward a few years to 1683 in Switzerland, Jacob Bernoulli was hard at work on another problem, not logarithms but compound interest. While solving a problem, he stumbled upon this expression that converges to the constant E as you raise into infinity. Bernoulli didn't give the value that this equation converged to a name at that time. In 1690 and 1691, Gottfried Leibniz and Christian Huygens used the constant that Bernoulli had discovered, calling it the letter B in their correspondence. The constant E became popular when Leonard Euler came into the picture. Leonard Euler was a Swiss mathematician who studied at the University of Basel, the same university at which Jacob Bernoulli studied. He contributed heavily to mathematics in his time and worked in many areas such as geometry, trigonometry, algebra, number theory, infinitesimal calculus, continuum physics, and lunar theory. Euler's work averages 800 pages a year from 1725 to 1783. He also wrote over 4,500 letters and hundreds of manuscripts. It has to be said that Euler was responsible for a third of all the scientific and mathematical output of the 18th century. In the mathematics community, Euler is quite famous, and his name carries a lot of influence in the field. Now let's go back to the history of E. In 1727 or 1728, Euler started to use the constant E in one of his unpublished papers on explosive forces and cannons. In 1731, Euler introduced E as the base of the natural logarithms to Christian Goldbach in a letter, who is known to come up with the famous unsolved problem, the Goldbach conjecture. In 1736, Euler published, Mechanica, which describes the mathematics governing movement, which was also the first appearance of the constant E that we use today, which is now referred to as Euler's number. That was the history of Euler's number. Euler's number appears in mathematical problems related to growth or decay. Euler's number is genuinely everywhere. I hope I have sparked your curiosity about this marvelous number E, and that you have enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Till next time, take care and stay safe. Goodbye.